In this video I'm going to show you how to do an extended double crochet two together which sounds like a big mouthful but it's really just two doubles together over two different spaces and you the pattern starts by saying chain two and insert hook into the first DC and draw up a loop and then insert hook into the next space and draw up a loop which you can see is in here into the space and draw up a loop and then yarn over and through two, yarn over through two, and chain one. So there's not that much to it. Let me demonstrate it again. The second stitch in is this one here. You can see it has a little bar and you're diving into that little space there with the bar, which is your double crochet, and then the little space just next to it. So insert hook into the stitch with the bar, draw up a loop, insert hook into the space and draw up a loop, and then yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So it's quite familiar after that, and chain one. Insert hook into the stitch with the vertical bar, and into the space next door. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and chain one. I think you could do that, as long as you're looking and seeing the stitches. So when you're here, the next stitch may seem quite far away, it's here. But if you look closely, you've been in that stitch, it's just pulling over that way slightly. So you're going to go in there and then in there. And you can see the next one is here with the vertical bar, in there, and then in there. And it gives this lovely waffle sort of texture, which is, is quite remarkable because you're not even doing front post stitches or back post stitches. It's all uh, in the front of the work. It's a one row pattern repeat, so once you've got that down, you just fly with it. I really, I really love doing it. This is the four ply one, which uses, oh, sorry about that. It uses Amatola, uh, Louisa Harding's four ply. It's a beautiful yarn. It's, it's really lovely. You can go for any color. It's just all nice. Just go for it. And I think it does come in different weights. Um, so be careful what you order. Um, the other one I made was in double knitting was this striped one, which I called a college affair. No harm in letting your imagination run rad during lockdown, sure, why not? But I think you'll really like it. I made it as a gift for Mr. Nancy, and it only took me like two afternoons going hammer and tong, but only for like three hours each. So one of the ends was probably the longest part because I changed color, but this yarn stripes itself for you. And this video doesn't even do the color justice. So good luck with that. That'll take the sting out of the pattern and learning new things. It's hard to learn new things. I don't like it myself, but it's really worthwhile because once you've done it, it's easy and it's only hard until you've tried. So good luck and thanks for watching. Bye.